All right, guys, I found some old uh, pre-code horror books from the 40s and 50s in a old cracker crate like this, like, I'll push picture up on the screen, man. This is a crazy story. These books are so rare. I found them, and they were at this auction in a fire hall, and it's just a really awesome story. Um, basically, you know, I do estate auctions, right? So I, I was checking estate auctions out. I see these. I'm like, all right, hey, there's a ton of good pre-code horror books, man. Let's go check them out. We go check them out. There's a couple really good books. There's a Journey in Mystery 1. There's a Venus 19. Um, but, yeah, I'll show you guys what I picked up. And I'll also show a little bit of footage of the actual auction itself. And then um, we'll talk about a book I'm submitting to CGC and a big, the big one I picked up. Good morning, guys. Thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, 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 thirty-nine. Now four thousand forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, 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 forty-three. Anyone else? Forty-three, forty-three, forty-two hundred, two hundred, forty-two hundred, two hundred one. All right, guys, so like you saw, got a bunch of really cool pre-code horror books um, today. I'm so excited, man. I was literally shaking during this auction. So let's pull these out and see what we got. Um, I, I I was watching some videos, and I like it when people, you know, kind of show the books raw and, like, how they came, you know what I mean, instead of just showing them bagged and boarded mylar. So these came, these were in these, like, you know, Ziploc baggies, um, which, you know, you see a lot. But from the early 50s. I just want to make sure I don't mess anything up. Pull them out. There's a piece of tape there for whatever reason. All right. Boom. Fantastic Fears. Uh, super, super cool book, man. Skeleton cover. P page quality on these were so nice. Um, and I, 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 uh, as you saw earlier, these came in that box, right? The, the bread box. So look at this, man. This is a pretty nice copy. I mean... You know, it has minimal wear and everything. It has your, you know, your average spine wear, but man, for a book from, what is this, probably from 51, 52, really, and look at the page quality. That's, that's why pages have ever seen it. I love, I mean, I love this book. I, I really specifically wanted this one. I really like this cover. <clears throat> Here's a Forbidden that's Worlds. Nice. Uh, <laughs> from Forbidden Worlds number four. This is 51. Again, look at the, man, look at the nice pages. Really cool werewolf cover. And uh, another Haunted Thrills. So there's two Haunted Thrills in here. This one's a little bit more beat. But that's all right. I didn't like it as much as the other one. Anyway. That's a good book, though. Yeah, this is a nice... This is a good book. As you can see, I'm, I'm shaking a little bit. Just from holding <laughs> these. So here, we're going to put these up. Put these over here. Oh, this is a good batch. I really love this one up top. Mysterious Adventures, um, some like Aborigines tribe going at, you know, bondage cover, Aborigines tribe, you know, going to fillet this guy, head and he's, yeah, headhunters, and you see the skulls, I mean, this is just an awesome book, this is, uh, man, I really like this, Mysterious Adventures 5, and then boom, Mysterious Adventures 6, I like this one even better, I love this big skull, um, Really nice book, man. It's skeleton. Or skeleton, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Really nice book. And then, oh my god, we have a Mr. Mystery number one. And it does have the little spine split here, but it's attached, it's complete. And overall, it's actually pretty nice. Again, man, page quality on these are crazy. But yeah, Mr. Mystery one, I really like this. I love the color palette on this book. I mean, it has the dark blues and then a little bit of red here. And the, the hand coming out. Unfortunately, that split wasn't as visible yesterday. Well, yeah. People. I mean, but see, I, I love when you... There's a lot of covers of the Golden Age, of pre code horror covers, where you see a hand coming out of a grave. You know what I mean? And this is another one like that, and I think that's really cool. Um, this one, this was just kind of throw in. I mean, it's B to H, but, you know, cool book. Strange Mysteries. All right. Um, what else we got in here? Okay, here we have a Strange Tales lot. And this one on top here is obviously 
not high grade. This was just kind of a throw in that we didn't really buy it for this. Honestly, nor this either. Uh, it was kind of just this one book in particular. Um, you got this, some writing here and, you know, stuff out here. This is, these are all kind of beat, except this one, man. This is super nice. This is a really, really nice book. Um, has a little bit of stuff there, but for, again, for a golden age pre cold horror book, this is in pretty dang nice condition. I really like this cover, white pages. Um, so check the back. Back's looking pretty nice. I mean, overall, this is a nice We're copy. Excited. Yeah, it is very, it is very, it is, yeah, it feels very glossy and it, it feels nice. Um, so that's kind of the one we bought this one for, and then we'll probably sell the others, keep this in the PC. Um, and then this strange, yeah, this strange tales, headless sky. I mean, this is just awesome. <laughs> this is really cool. <laughs> this is a really cool book. A little bit of a spiral here, but that's to be expected with these books. I think these all, these ranged anywhere, all these ranged anywhere from like a, Probably a one to like, you know, highest grade was probably like a five, maybe. Um, there, there, yeah. So, I mean, they, these were actually in decent condition for what they are, this batch of books. All right, so here's the big lot. Okay, Uncanny Tales. Not a big fan of this one. I mean, it's a nice book, you know. It's a pretty decent grade. It's attached, you know. See, with these books... You just don't want to see anything missing, any chunks out or anything. I mean, you know, it's beat up here, and obviously it has spine wear, as to be expected, but overall, it's a solid copy. Um, and then, so that, this is, you know, going to sell that. Unknown Worlds, this actually feels pretty glossy, too. Nothing too crazy about this, either. You know, a cool pre art book. This is another Uncanny Tales. Actually, uh, this is a kind of cool color. I like the, I like the green. Um decent book um but here we have the big one venus number 19 classic 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 beloved cover this is a huge pre-code horror grail if anybody you know is watching is in a pre-code horror you know this book is you know wanted it's this classic beloved cover last issue um i believe there's only 50 on the census so in the 50s low 50s um but this is this is a decent book it's a decent it's in decent condition as you see, has a little bit of stuff. It has a little chip out there. This is yeah, folded, up. right? Clean up. Yeah. So I mean, this is folded. So this will, you know, come over. Page quality is nice. Uh, staples are barely hanging on, but they are there. We obviously, wear on the spine, but it is a nice. It is a nice copy. It is. I like for for the book that it is. It is a nice copy. Um, so this is actually needed to probably go in Mylar like very soon, but yeah, I mean, look at that cover, man. That's awesome. And the, the color palette on this, the greens, and you see the, the guys in the back here, the, the ghouls, I mean, just a classic book, just a classic, classic book. So yeah. All right. So as you see, man, I got a ton of really cool books. Like, I mean, this totally jumpstarted my, uh, pre code horror collection. So I'm really happy. It's a really fun experience. It was honestly one of the best. My, probably my best auction find so far and this again this is the big one the uh, venus 19 i'm super happy about this book this is going to be going to cgc like this week in a walkthrough because it's you know i have to insure it for a higher value but i'm really excited so let's see what this comebacks uh comes back as i'm thinking like a three i don't even know I, it's between a it's like a three five four i don't know i have to see uh, grading Golden Age is really tough, and um, this one is no exception. But yeah, this is gonna go through walkthrough, and I'll do a CGC unboxing when it gets back. But this book is like, I mean, if we're talking price on this book, it, it's really hard to say because this book only comes up for sale every like six months to a year, and it only comes up for sale in this particular grade, like. You know, it does. It just doesn't. These book, this book doesn't really exist. There's only like 50 on the census, right? So it's really hard to put a value on it because maybe the last sold was like four years ago, right? So it's kind of like you know, just kind of not pick and choose your price, but you, you know, you kind of put a value on it and you something you're comfortable with. So I have to decide what that will be, and I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm going to be selling it yet. Obviously, it's a total pretty good hard grail, but. It would be a really nice way to jumpstart my comic book business. And I kind of look at it like this. I'm never going to find that book in the wild again, right? 
But if I could get a bunch of money for it, I could really jumpstart my business so that I could be dealing in comics and buying collections and find a bunch of other great books like that particular book. So I don't know. I, I got to think about it. I got to really contemplate it. Um, but I really do want to just start a business, and I think that would that would be a great kickstart to it. That would really help me out. But I don't know. We'll see. I'll let you guys know what I'm going to be doing with it, and I'll let you guys know if it's for sale, obviously. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Before we get out of here, make sure you hit the like button, drop a comment on what, if you like this video, and also subscribe. Man, I, get, we're gonna have, I have so much cool stuff planned, a um, bunch of collection videos. This summer is going to be crazy. I got a bunch of deals going down. Um, of course, Trificon, CGC unboxings, all kinds of stuff. So make sure you're here for that. Make sure you're subscribed, and thank you for watching. Peace.